And the other thing that that brought out really is, we mentioned Chris Whitty there. I love your concept of high priests, mm-hmm. those who cannot be questioned. And, you know, the, the, the way that whole international thinking was distorted to believe in these gurus, these fonts of wisdom, these oracles of Delphi, yeah. <laughs> these, yeah. these high priests, rather than the consensus of scientific opinion. Yeah. It's just, just yeah. incredible. And- one thing that was really strange about it was that the, the sort of old school science, you know, the body of science had been abandoned. And so what, what Western civilization is largely predicated on. Yeah, which meant that <laughs> yeah. the people who were sort of, you know, outsiders, as it were, who were saying, hang on a minute, this doesn't seem right, yeah. could then go to this body of literature and say, look, this is why I'm saying this. And whereas the people who were the high priests, were basing their, their, what they were saying on really nothing. They had nothing to back them up. They were just on a foundation of sand. So there was an interesting kind of power dynamic there because you think, well, if we give this long enough, I think we're going to be all right here because we've got all this evidence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, the high priests, I think it was a really fundamental part of what happened because they were not allowed to be questioned. They were just people you could not question. Even when they were contradicting themselves, that was all all right. They were still always, you had to assume everything they said was Contradicting true. themselves, contradicting each other. Yes. And um, my favourite high priest moment was when Bill Gates was interviewed <laughs> in the Natural History Museum. Is, and he, do- is he a doctor, uh, Claire? Is he medically no, he, qualified? I don't think he has a degree. Oh, right. Anything. So he's not a doctor. Right. No. Okay, okay. Yeah, just... <laughs> so they had him under the the... the blue whale skeleton right and they had indicating science yeah they had this enormous screen with his face on it like he was a huge you know god and then the bbc presenter interviewing him went really far away from him so there's this like little dwarfy ant man with a monk (laughs) and this huge face by the it was ridiculous it was just you know it was laughable when you see it for what it is, it's embarrassing. He should be embarrassed. Reminds you of a screen in certain novels that could be mentioned, doesn't it? Mm, mm, totally. Yeah. yeah. Right.